Now, um, hopefully sometime today or the next first hour I'll be releasing a lip sync, a lip sync video. Yeah, I haven't done that for a while. So, today, welcome to um, top five of my favourite video games. This is where we're going to be having a look at some of my favourites and also we don't usually do this because sometimes I don't need to but we are going to be having honourable mentions today as well. Number five, the Batman Arkham series. Now, I'm technically cheating here considering that I haven't played the Arkham VR one, but how could I not put all these games as number five? Um, this list was hard, so be calm with me. Now, what I like with most of these games, like for instance with Arkham Asylum, um, it's like the beginning of this Batman story and also you get to play as the Joker in the challenge modes you do and also introduce you to the Batman armor suit as well and then with Batman Arkham City you can play as Catwoman, Robin and Nightwing you can and that's why I think it's so good you can also play as Bruce Wayne at the very very start you can when you've got new things added on like um, new moves Batman can grapple up to buildings and also he can his fighting size his fighting size improved and and it's just really good it is now moving on with Arkham Origins not the best game that I would recommend but you can play as Batman um, the Joker, you can, Deathstroke, which I think is quite good, and during the time that you play online multiplayer, you can also play as the Robin, the Joker, or Bane, including Batman as well, and also Bruce Wayne via the Cold Cold Heart DLC. And then with Arkham Knight, it's much more better. The world is the Gotham world is bigger. You get to see the locations that you've been to. So like for instance Arkham City has been closed down, you can see that. You can see Arkham Asylum. And if you go out far enough you can go to the place where Arkham Origins was, including where Arkham Asylum was and Arkham City was as well. It introduces um, more new characters so you can play as as of as well. Um, Harley Quinn and also Red Hood or Jason Todd. Um, what I like about the Red Hood guy is that he's got guns so if you're playing with the challenge maps and you're doing like a silent one you don't really need to, f well you can follow one but you can just kill everyone you can with the guns and have the level over within minutes or just literally seconds and then with Return to Arkham, the, the stuff I like is exactly the same for why I said with Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. It's just the graphics improved a bit more, it's a bit more colourful and I guess that's what I like about it. Um, so this game, you're literally being the Batman and that's what I like about it. Number four, Lego Indian Jones. Two, the adventure continues. This game was one of my childhood favourites. We had it on the Wii and we still have it on on the Wii until this day. Um, in this game it picks off the the some of the films of the Indiana Jones ones, including some other stuff as well. Of course you can't play as hand solo, but what I really do like about this is that you can create your own levels. You can't do that in many LEGO games at all. I was kind of hoping LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens I was kind of hoping you could do that there but you can't. In this you can create 
any type of level and you can create levels that you've seen from Indiana Jones to Star Wars and Batman and I remember I was watching this video once where it, it was basically we doing the the um, lightsaber draw scene between Anakin and Obi-Wan Kenobi and I thought that was just really really cool so hopefully maybe Lego World will bring some of that back but until then we just have to hope that hopefully another Lego game that comes out will be able to do this not even Lego Dimensions let you do this going away from the Lego stuff now number three Spyro A Hero's Tale in this game most people like it but some people don't the reason why I like it is because the graphics has improved the st I feel like the storyline is much more better the controls are awesome, you get to play so many characters you do that I know you've already can't play in Spyro 3 but in this I feel like the bosses are good and this was the cool part of my childhood I was like I get so excited when I was going to play this on the PlayStation 2. And just getting the crystals, the eggs, and the gems, it was just so, so good. It was. And um, even though there were some creatures in there that I did not like and literally scared me to death, this one was. I've got to say really good and the best thing I've seen from Spyro um, so far. The other games are okay, well some of them are not so good, but I feel like this one is one of my favourites so far. Number two, Lego Dimensions. Now I've been playing this like mad recently on the PlayStation 4, I have, and I've been loving it to death. I'm all, at this moment, I'm already planning on buying more packs to complete levels and to go into new worlds as well. Um, so in this, you've got a main story you have, which if you buy the main pack, you get Batman, Wildstyle and Gandalf. And then, well, I think you can also now get Supergirl, but back then you can't, you couldn't. Um, so in this, the storyline is that you have to try and get all these keystones and then all these elements to go ahead and defeat this bad guy, which is actually cool, he's a literal bad guy. And then when you complete that, and then you can go into different worlds that you can go into. Um, you can also download store, um, these story packs, and these level packs uh, from the PlayStation Store as well, from what I know, all of them. Well, most of them are free. They are. Um, now, I like this, but I don't like this in some way. Because when you used to buy, um, back then, you brought it and there was no level packs. There was nothing that you could buy from the PlayStation Store. But I feel like if the PlayStation Store is down one time or if a person is having some problems with it, then it's going to make it hard, so I feel like Leg Dimensions should do like a another release something else like this. So just release the software with all the packs in there, but make it a bit more expensive, like how the, for instance, Batman Arkham City Game of the Year edition is, or or how Lego Star Wars: The Force Awakens Deluxe edition is. Something like that just to make it easy for us because to be honest if we buy them we're most likely not going to really download it unless if we unless if it's working for me the store's not working but um, apart from that the games the game is really good and I do hope that one day they can add maybe Star Wars or Stranger Things or even Indiana Jones or some Marvel stuff to it because I know that we've got E.T. And, and the Goonies so I feel like the closest thing to Stranger Things at this moment is the Goonies yeah I'm not joking about that by the way they're coming out this before we get down to number one 
here are some honourable mentions. I hope this is not too many. I may have gone mad about this. For the rebellion. Don't get in my way. franchise in history is back and the galaxy will never be the same lego star wars 3 the clone wars so uptight scientists like the fleas in your fur i keep coming back but when these two opposites are forced together oh, i'm stuck the fur is gonna hit the fan join the dark side Number 1, Lego Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. This was a hard choice because I could have put Star Wars Battlefront in here or Skylanders Imaginators, but I didn't. Instead, I put this one. If you want a story packed game, whether it's taking off a movie and with some good enough graphics and improved um, fighting scenes, then I would recommend this game for you. Of course it's a kid's game, but yeah again, not many Star Wars games have been released on the PlayStation 4 just yet. Because I know that you've got Star Wars Battlefront, you've got that Star Wars Jedi Hunter thing. And also you've got this game as well, and that's all I know at this present moment. Um, I'm, I guess only three Star Wars games have actually been released to the console at this moment. So, um, in this, it takes part of the story from episode 7 and also the end of episode 6 as well, um, which I find was quite fun. The reason why I like this game is because that you're able to explore as different characters and go ahead and just explore um, everywhere on the, new, the newest Death Star to go into that bar where you've seen... Um, and they're also going to the resistance base and um, just many more places and also you can play newer stories that haven't been put in the film um, and much more really. The game is much more bigger and I like this because we have another Lego Star Wars game within ages and I'm wondering if they're going to do another one or I haven't heard anything just yet because I feel like I want, I haven't heard anything about Star Wars coming to Lego Dimensions and I would like that, I would really do like that because I feel like that would just be boom, that would be. Um, I have web updates but yet again they're old and some of them are from the start of this year from January so if someone could give me some information about this or if Warner Brothers can address this again newly in this in this month of March or even April then please I did hear when first Lego Dimensions was going to come out that we may get Star Wars in the near future between 2017 and 2018 take that as a rumour but I'm not even too sure if that's going to happen yet like I know they have other plans to add Teen Titans Go and the Puff Girls, I think it's called. Um, and I also know that Lego City and Lego and also the Goonies will be coming out this year in May. But apart from that, I know nothing. But yeah, again, I feel like they can make a load of money releasing some story packs, level packs, team packs, and tons of fun packs. They could tell never be never before seen stories they could make like a woke one world or a last jedi world or a star wars rebels world or clone wars world or even a star wars episode one to three world it's just like there are tons of ideas that 
Disney and Lego Dimensions can explore. They can. But if you're going to do that, and if you're going to release any more, try not to release it to the PlayStation Store. Try and put it in that you're giving it giving it to us for free. Because like, if we've got the characters, like, one second. This is the Scooby Dooby Doo character. I didn't buy this, my sister did. But I feel like if the Scooby Dooby Doo have like a they don't, but if they did have if they did have a level pack and if you could play a level off one of the episodes of Scooby Dooby Doo, um then I feel like they should build it into it because we first we bought we bought the characters we have and now you should really be giving it to us for free in the game. But yeah again I don't know how it all works so I enjoyed this one. I'm not too sure if I'll have a lip sync video coming out today but I will have something out coming out soon. I am still busy at this present moment. I am working on the videos at this moment. I've already got three of them done at this moment. And uh, I may be Doing, I might do some vlogging soon. I might do some vlogging tomorrow because I think I'm not too sure, but I may or may not be going out. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just want to also say that with my music, I've only got um, at least two tracks on the stores at this moment. I'm currently making tracks. And and just putting them in some sort of a PowerPoint document, and then just having a look how many I've got. So, because you have to pay a certain price. So, if you upload, you have to. I'm trying to upload so many, so we only pay for twenty four pounds, because that's how much the album's going to cost for us to make. So, um, it's taking some time. It is, but when it does come out, it will be good. It will be. And after that, I will try and release at least at least something else because um I just want to um i'm I will be revealing the eastern Wednesday schedule near the time I will be not at this moment because I do have some fun stuff planned that I have a I know that I'm gonna have to change or I'm gonna have to cancel so yeah so. Please, for God's sake, bear with me. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more stuff, click wherever the boxes are going to be. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. Uh, like this. So yeah.